it's time for one of my favorite celebrations, harvesting. <laughs> Even observing your plants and their growth from seeds to seedlings to small plants to plants ready to harvest. Take a look at your grow chart. Which plant has grown the most in height, in width, in the number of leaves? Let's make some predictions and some estimations. Wait a minute. I have a question for you. When we're harvesting, observing, measuring, and predicting, are we using math concepts? Or are we using science concepts? Hmm. If you said we're doing both, <laughs> you are right. Hydroponics in the classroom is a living curriculum. And before we remove any of these lettuce plants, let's do a bit of observation, prediction, and estimation. How many leaves do you think are on each plant? How much do you think each plant weighs? Which plant, from observation, has the greatest width? Which plant do you think will have the longest roots? Which plant do you think will have the widest roots? With each of your answers to these questions, I want you to follow it by stating why. Record these on your harvest sheet so you'll be able to do a comparison and count the actual amount and compare it to your prediction. Now, let's pull one of these plants. Let's select one and do a little bit of measuring. Let's go with number one. What tool will we need? <laughs> I would recommend, yes, that you have some type of measuring tool. I'm using measuring tape. And it is approximately six inches tall. It is 10 inches wide. The longest root is, wow, it's 12 inches long. <laughs> and the widest part is two and a half inches wide. Why are we recording all of this? Because we're mathematicians, scientists, and hydroponic farmers who want to grow our plants even better next time. Let's pull number four and do a comparison. Which one has the longest roots? This one had 12. The longest root is eight and a half inches. Plant number four is seven inches tall and it is 11 inches wide. Are they the same plant? Are we comparing different plants? Are we comparing the same kind of plants? Both of these are Salanova green butter lettuce. They were grown exactly the same way. Wow, I said it was time to harvest and we haven't even picked one leaf. That's because we're busy using our math and our science skills in a meaningful, purposeful, and real world way. If you're growing hydroponically, you're going to use a lot of math and science. And then look at what we have. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Let's count. Oh my goodness, look. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna speed this up. I'm gonna count and I'll see you at the end of my pulling all the leaves. 96 leaves. Look at it. And that was from one head. You'll be able to harvest the rest of the heads and you'll be able to compare number of leaves, width, height, size of and length, depth of the roots. Look at all that you are observing. Here it is, hydroponic farmers. It's time for the best part. <laughs> I'm using my very clean hands and I'm going to do, I'm going to eat the result. Happy eating and happy hydroponics. <music>